The importance of ongoing education in the process of giving advice uh, is absolutely vital. I thought I'd finish studying. Um, I'm finding that if I want to improve what I deliver to my clients, I've got to seek something higher. Um, so I've just started a Masters of Financial Planning by research. We have increasing levels of advisor education standards. Everybody knows about that now. Um, we are going to see in the future, of course, new advisors have to be uh, university educated and the ongoing education requirements are increasing as well. So when it comes to educating the team, we make sure that all of our team are constantly studying in one form or another. So whether it be the formal qualifications of completing their degree, whether it being doing a certification from an industry association, or whether it's just reading, um, we always make sure that everybody is continually learning and we find out exactly what they want to study. So some of our guys, might be our office manager, um, she wants to do more HR stuff. So it's great for her to then go and do a course on HR to understand how the team works. For somebody that's a para planner aspiring to be uh, an associate advisor, then we want to make sure that they're upskilling in the areas of self-managed super funds or risk. So sending them to PD days, to conferences, uh, really works. I'm constantly supplying them with um, resources, books, uh, making sure that they're on uh, distribution lists from uh, product providers, from associations, so that they are learning what's going on in the industry. So the more that they can learn, the better off they're going to be. Um, and in terms of them being able to help our clients, if they're highly skilled, then they can help our clients and educate them. Staff development is an important business issue and you've got to keep your eye on that ball. One of the ways that we do it at Complete Financial Balance when we recruit people is we talk to them about the capabilities that we have and we encourage them to move through the different pillars of being a service officer, becoming a para planner and hopefully becoming an advisor. So, and we will, we will sponsor them through the educational journey that they, if they so choose to go on. But also within Complete Financial Balance, we encourage this learning organisation. And the learning organisations happens on a daily basis and then formally on a monthly basis. And it's this period of learning as the advice process goes through and the investment from the advisor speaking and sitting down with the power planner about strategy, sitting down with your client service officer and saying what has been good and what has been bad. Don't lose the opportunity to learn lessons as they occur. In terms of the education around advice and technical competency, we're seeing those, those uh, education levels rising. What we're also seeing is a significant increase in interest from advisors and education around how to run a business. Because in days gone by, you could be a really great advisor and have great client relationships and you would build a really significant business. The way that advice is structured nowadays and with the legislative requirements around how to deliver that advice means that advisors do need to have business acumen as well because it's not just enough to be a great advisor, they need to know how to run a business to be able to deliver that effective advice. So we're seeing people um, tap into and get access to more and more levels of education around that business management side of things. Uh, and certainly our Juice console that we've launched takes advisors through a process to structure their business plan and actually plan out what they're going to do with their business and then report back onto it. Um, it's, it's a, it's a skill set uh, and an interest that I think is growing significantly in advisors. Even those who are employed within a business and don't actually own the business do need to have some sort of financial savvy around the business management aspects of advice as well nowadays. At JBS we continually run training events for our team. Uh, for example, tomorrow we're going away on a two-day retreat. We do this at the beginning of every year to make sure that the team is on the one page. So as a precursor, we make sure that they're going to watch some videos, do some pre-reading, and actually think about what they're going to get out of the two-day event. So not just to go away on what could be a junket, but to really go with the right mindset. And that's all part of the mentoring we do. And it's really important to make sure that our senior advisors are also helping their teams, to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So the more that the team can actually learn and grow, the better people that they, everyone becomes, uh, and the more we can help our clients.